Welcome to Analytics with Nux. This is the introduction uh, about the playlist and uh, and this is the first video in this playlist that is SQL Server Analysis Service Tabular Model. So basically uh, one of the key concept of uh, BI, a business intelligence uh, using Microsoft uh, technology is to uh, create a model and that is using a tabular model and that is what we are going to see in this entire playlist without wasting time let us jump into uh, our introduction if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button right now to learn the concepts in ssas before understanding about uh, the ssas uh, tabular model let us walk through the our BI architecture so that we will be more aligned and um, what, what role the SSAS plays in the BI and how it can help in, uh, people to consume the data. So we have sources and data preparation and this is using SSIS and tabular model or modeling comes over here as you can see this layer is a uh, semantic layer is nothing but uh, you can create either uh, multi-dimensional cubes or tabular model power bi i mean sorry the microsoft is recommending uh, the uh, ssas tabular model as the default for now because that is a future this is uh, legacy but still uh, both are important based on uh, different business scenarios you need to choose between those and other layer is like uh, power bi so this entire layer is reporting layer uh, i have split up into two like power bi desktop and power bi report server that is two different um, layers of it and what this sql server data tools is all about basically um this layer till this day all your data resides in a database uh, you are familiar with this you can extract and load it temporarily and you need to store somewhere and then you need to do kind of uh, dimensional modeling here fact and dimensions so this will reside in rdbms so this layer is another server basically this resides in database engine this resides in analysis engine like as microsoft sql server analysis services if you install it will give you another server so basically this is uh, residing in another server it this will be stored as a database and from that uh, like you connecting to files or databases power bi can connect to ssas as a live connection or import from a, a tabular model or multi-dimensional queue that is the flow so this is uh, all about uh, power bi i mean uh, bi architecture and in which ssas plays important role of it let us see what it is so it's basically a tabular model or in-memory database in analysis services in memory means all your data will be stored in a ram so answering a request from a ram is much quicker than answering from the database so that is the main uh, advantage of it so how all this the data fit into ram it uses a compression algorithms i will walk you through some of the techniques i'm not going to cover all the things but just for giving you idea what it uses and multi-threaded query processor so that uh, asking queries from directly from database instead of from here if you ask queries from here it will be 10x faster since all your data is compressed and it uses multi-threaded query processor and compression algorithms so x velocity in memory analytics engine delivers fast access to tabular model objects so you you can easily access the data then having uh, 
model uh, segregated from reporting power bi uh, near the layers like unified model you can model it here so any other functional area people can consume it no need to model separately for individual uh, departments or something like that so it is one single place all your models reside from there you can consume it so unified model also another reason you need to go for tabular model so let us see how this tabular model is uh, so uh, fast uh, because it uses x velocity engine but how this data fit into ram let's see with some examples so it uses a uh, dictionary encoding basically like um, you have a column in your table uh, which contains a color right so instead of uh, uh, referring actually the storing red 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 what it will do is it will create some index for each distinct values first for each column in your table whatever call a table you have for each column it will create dictionary columns like for color column it will create 0 1 2 3 as id so it will store in the ram with ids not with the entire table with this values so it will create dictionary and your data will be encoded so when, when you convert it your data storage will be less that is how it can fit into a ram so all your datas are encoded and then stored that is one of the thing you need to understand another uh, technique it uses is row length encoding like uh, you have repeated values so what it will do for it against each row it will have some number from row 1 to row uh, till 3 10 rows the value is q1 so it will store only this information instead of storing q1 q then while retrieving a data corresponding data will be mapped so how it will fetch that is very complex part that no need to know as a end user but to have a basic understanding how you people will imagine like uh, how the entire 1 GB or 2 GB or uh, 50 GB data is fit into RAM it uses encoding as well as compression techniques so these are different uh, techniques it uses so that all your data fit into RAM and uh, moreover like um, power BI internally uses tabular model forget about this if you are not having a dedicated SSS tabular model that is fine but once you have it you are offloading the load from power bi that is one of the important aspect of it uh, assume you do not have any of this architecture you want to create only power bi so power bi internally has ssas analysis service internally because as you know power bi also uses uh, x velocity all your data fits into ram it uses same technology whatever is going to be demonstrated in this playlist so same thing it uses here okay that is how power bi also uh, can store the data into the ram and once you have a dedicated tabular model it cannot create a edit mode so it, once you make it as live connection then all your changes to be happened here so power bi just as a reporting purpose only you will use it so these are some of the key things uh, i want to highlight let's try to understand much better about tabular model and when we need to go for it and one last thing i want to highlight is like this is uh, typically uh, on premise tabular model and if you want to go for azure it is same the concept wise the building the cube tabular model wise everything is same just you are deploying the uh, model in the azure instead of your on premise in this playlist we are going to walk through only for on premise tabular model let's see um, in uh, upcoming videos how to uh, what are the tools required to build a tabular model and uh, what are the uh, softwares you need to install if you like this video subscribe to the channel and comment below for your queries and do remember that data is your asset